science fiction movie, right? That's me, Peter. Now listen up, because here's the strange part. This is not fiction. It's all real. This is actually happening to me and my new friends. The tall guy there, his name's Aristotle. And of course, she's Nicole. Oh, and that's Profiterol, his dog Houston. Yeah, so maybe I am screaming my head off. After all, before today, I'd much rather just read about adventure than find myself smack in the middle of one. You see, no one's a bigger sci-fi fan than me. But even I never imagined I'd be going into some of my favorite stories of all time on a secret mission called Operation Freedom Force. are about to go very wrong for that wretched writer Jules Verne. They'll never know. I understand. Yes, of course. Here's to us and all those who are left. <laughs> Term of endearment. France has not had a queen since Marie Antoinette. This is starting to give me a headache. Imagine how Marie Antoinette must have felt at the end. Oh. Well, I guess you just don't love me anymore now that you're so busy being the president. Yeah, of course I do. What if I put you in charge of something really important? I'm listening. You'll run International Literacy Day. We're honoring Jules Verne, France's most famous author. Hmm. Will there be press? Yes, a lot. Yeah, uh, most likely, yes. Paparazzi? Magazine covers? You can see the headlines now. Jules Verne, the father of science fiction, honored by Carol, France's very own queen of reading. So I will be queen. Still think I don't love you? Snooky wooky. Oh, Jacques, my tushy wooshy. Hey, let's hold the event to the loop and get rid of that ugly black pyramid that's in front of it. That could be a possibility. We would have to consult the, uh... Oh, you are magnificent, my darling. And that is why I adore you. And with a little luck, I will be on the cover of all the magazines next week. Chow chow now. Ah, where's my champagne? With all of his most famous stories mixed up, Jules Verne will be disgraced. <laughs> Let's see if five weeks in a balloon makes sense without its main character. <laughs> someone trying to travel around the world in 80 days. <laughs> if you're a religious man, Joe, now's the time to pray. Oh, dear. Next on my hit list, 20,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs> 
Talk to me, Aranax. What say the Nautilus's sensors? Captain Nemo, something is happening to the submarine. Our controls aren't working. Uh, Nautilus, come in! Nautilus! What's up with the fish? They're free to see. Nautilus, do you read me? Come in, Nautilus! You've lost contact with the submarine. Wait, I see something. Watch out! It's behind you! Uh, uh, stay back! I'll handle this! Yo! Uh, Captain Nemo! It's suicide! Done with my ship, monster! I am the Avenger! Wait! Let's talk about this! Research, we have finally come to the unmistakable conclusion that we Americans now have the ability, for the first time, to assemble a kind of giant bullet which will carry a crew of humans inside of it and will actually be able to make the journey to the moon. Oh. Who are you? Gentlemen, please forgive my dropping in unannounced. I am Nemo, captain and inventor of the underwater vessel, the Nautilus. Are you a member of our gun club? Have you paid your dues? I know not of what you speak. This is an outrage! You cannot be here! This meeting is exclusively for members only! Not only that, we're in the process of changing history here, and you dare to interrupt? How despicable! Believe me, I did not arrive here on my own volition. But do tell, by chance, have you seen a giant octopus? And finally, I'll mix in plots and characters from Fern's own imagination that he never even finished. His stories will be complete gibberish and utter nonsense. Incomprehensible! <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the pace, normal Wehrmacher. The flying train has arrived and you're going to make us miss it. Oh. Are you sure the inspector has not tracked us here? I can't be concerned with him now. We must get this suitcase to the volcano before the eclipse! Normal Wehrwacher? Normal Wehrwacher! Where are you? Where did you go? We're not going to make the train, Normal Wehrwacher! Normal Wehrwacher! Normal Wehrwacher! Who the heck is Normal Wehrwacher? This is all wrong. Nemo is missing, there's no one flying the balloon, and the Nautilus is gone! Oh la la! All of Jules Verne's stories have gone completely cockamamie cuckoo! Monsieur Minister, this is a calamity! An absolute calamity! Uh, Pascal, what could it possibly be this time? Uh, there's no submarine? What happened to all of these stories? Uh, what a disaster! What are we going to do now? Je ne sais pas! Oh la la! Oh la 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 la! I'll have to advise the president that he needs to cancel the Jules for an event, and then you and I must go to see the professor. Oh, no, 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 no. Oui, oui. Oh, no. Oh, oui. Please, no. Oui. What? Absolutely not. Don't you realize how important the Jules Verne event is? Chateau, you're fired if you don't get this mess straightened out. I love you. Hi. Come. My snuggly, wuggly, pooky bear. Sweetie, I'm not my bigger bear. I'm your bigger budget. More well, I, uh... Let's not forget about all my wardrobe changes. Just hold on a second, honey. Chateau, you better fix this mess or else. But, Minister...
Mr. Chateau, please, with all due respect, je ne sais pas if it is a good idea for us to go and ask the professor for his help. Pascal, there is no one who knows more about science fiction than he does. Oui, but the professor is also totally crazy! Complètement fou! Oh, please, who isn't crazy these days? Last time I saw him, he got angry and tried to transform me into a dog! It was an absolute oh. nightmare! Oh. Who made him angry? He's already a mad scientist. Don't make him mad there. Now you tell me. Anyway, he doesn't understand the difference between science and science fiction. He's completely nuts. Yes, that's true. I guess you could say he's a little unbalanced, but he is a genius and probably the only one who can figure this out. Even to this day, I still bark whenever I see a squirrel. And forget about what I do when I'm near a fire hydrant. I know precisely what happened. Someone has found the Imaginatium and used it to sabotage these stories. I invented it years ago, but the government shut the project down. As you can see, it really works. Woo -hoo -hoo. Imagination is a force that never dies. It's possible to manipulate someone else's feelings. With the Imaginatium, you can do it. So what is your suggestion, Professor? Do you really think it might be possible to put the stories back into their original state? Uh -huh. I might have a solution, but first I need Pascal's help with an experiment I've been working on. I knew this was going to happen, and you can forget it! No! <laughs> Electricity in his body is not flowing to the light bulb on his head. Yeah, that is unusual. Maybe there's not enough current. In regards to your problem, Chateau, something sparked an idea. Could it be the smell of my burning flesh that sparked it? Please, Pascal, do not interrupt the professor. We have only 48 hours to reverse the changes to the figments of Jules Verne's imagination. Or else they'll be permanently escalated into history that way. Drastic times call for drastic measures, so I propose sending someone inside. And then what? You see, the two turn was way ahead of his time. He secretly hid in each of his stories one of his most incredible inventions. This amazing advancement is a breakthrough of truly revolutionary technology. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Oh, I know. I'm going to guess that he invented the internet. No.